this picture what the information you got the information you got it's a very blue sky and you have a non polluted area green grasses and this is one country czech republic and far away in the valley you can see another country poland so this one picture give you a lots of information so the information theory is nothing how much information is being carry forward by particular document the measurement of that information is basically information theory it's a huge number of research going on throughout the world and at the same time huge number of publication is going on the research and publication is very much interlinked and they they are going through uh, two two di two dimension in one place and it's glow like kind of parallel sequence if you have a research and studies you must have a publication on that and if, if you do not have a publication that means you do not have a research so research and publications is going parallel now interesting thing is that interesting thing is that the publication trend has changed it was previously printed now it is more emphasis on the digital so the information reaching to me and you it is probably the most mostly digital information rather than the printed information question is here now why that much of information is coming out it's a huge number of pages huge number of data huge number of data stored digital information why it is why it is that because it's a normal it's a normal it's a quest for knowledge has been the central theme of human evolution of evolution and so we we every time we, we just think because thinking is our natural consequence we if we do not think we'll think something so people says you must devils workshop or something like that ideal brain is the devil's workshop so devil's workshop means still you are thinking you are thinking differently so information is a key component in the growth of knowledge from early civilizations of mankind information has played a significant role in the societal development and in improving living standard of the human beings information is closely linked with the growth of economics political health agricultural educational and other sector of nation it is now well recognized that effective use of information can turn productive resources into value added economic resources good example of the um, of this are biogas and fuel fuel pellets made out of human waste information contribute to a, to political strength of a country and so much that we talk information rich nation and probably you can find right now the information mm, the most informed country is the most richest country most least informed informed country means poor country and most informed uh, country how could we understand on the basis of their literacy rate how educated the country is they are more richer and less educated country is a poor now successful application of science and technology to to social and economic development depend the effective use of information now research is one thing doing research in laboratory is one thing you are doing research but its application is another important aspect if we have a many research many patent and it is it do not have any application on that it's it's very difficult if you, here in the context of the information society information age the number of question related to the information we have arising that constitute information what constitute information how can we transmit information reliably and efficiently using modern telecommunication system how can we store large number of information in a compact form is there a measure of information can we evaluate inform the information in matching value of information such question have lead to the development of information theory that deals with the following aspects we'll come to the next aspect then information theory is a subfield of the mathematics concerned with the transmitting data across a noisy channel so it's basically why information what is information theory now 
a, cor a cornerstone of information theory is the idea of quantify how much information there is in a message. More generally, this can be used to quantify the information in an event and a random variables called entropy and is calculated using probability. Here you can see, yeah, what is information theory is a field of study concerned with the quantify information for communication. It is a subfield of mathematics and is concerned with the topic like data compression and limit of signal processing. The field was proposed and developed by Claude Shannon while working at the US telephone company, Bain's Lab. Now, information theory is concerned with the representing data in a compact fashion, a task known as a data compression or source coding, as well as with the transmitting and storing. It is a way that the robust of uh, uh, errors or tasks uh, known as uh, error co correction or, or channel coding. Right. So these, this is the basic uh, um, information uh, definitions. Now we'll see concept of information, information measure, information content, information communication, and information storage. Approaches to information theory. Studies in information theory have been pursued using three different perspectives of information. One is syntactic perspective. Studies using syntactic perspective can concentrate on the source characteristic and its symbol set usage. I will tell you one thing, Syntac syntactic perspectives means, syntactic pers perspective of information means, what are the set of characteristic or symbol being used at the source for that particular information? Suppose I am sending some message to you uh, with the WhatsApp. So what I am using is that I am using the character I am selling, mm, how, how are you? Or I'm just, just sending you the interrogative symbols, questions, symbols, how are you? Or if I say hi, or I, if I say kind of mm, uh, namaste. So this is all kind of things. What are the source symbol being used in the source? Semantic perspective. Semantic perspective is concerned with the complete and precise meaning of the message as well as the relative information content between the message. Now, semantic perspective, what is important is what is the message? What is the message? And in message, uh, how much information are, are that on that particular message? So it is basically evaluations of message. Then next is con contextual perspective Contextual perspective of information derives the meaning of message from not only what is the contained in the message, but also from the context in which the message occurs. It is not the content of message, but in which context the message appears, why, why the message came. That is important. Why this message is? And what is the consequence of, uh, no, of why the message is, but for the message is? This is imp important in contextual purpose perspective. Now you look the important aspects here. Three statements are there. There is a COVID patient died in Vivek Beer, Delhi on Friday, 15th May 2020 at 4 p.m. This is one sentence. Another sentence is there is a COVID patient died in Delhi. Third is there is a COVID patient died in Mayur Vihar in Delhi. Now, out of four, you, you, you could understand the, the third one. Here you can see the information is there, but it is specific to a particular area. So it be, it could be rely in some extent, but it is again difficult. It is again difficult because it's a huge number. Area is where we are and very, very, um, very, they are what it is called is hmm, there's numerous people are there where you can find a COVID person has died. It's take a lot of time. So information is there, but it is not the accurate information. Now, here is there is a COVID person died in Delhi. In died in Delhi means throughout Delhi, you have to find out who is the COVID patient. 
who died. So you'll find a lot of patient has died. But here, there is a COVID patient died in Bibig Beer, uh, Bibig Beer daily on Friday and 15th May at 4 p.m. So it will be more accurate and precise information. You can understand. So the value, value of information is much higher in statement first, not in statement third and second. So you have to understand there are three messages. Out of three messages, the first one is more relevant and precise and informative out of two. So this is basically measuring that information is basically information theory. Now, here you can see we may place approaches to the information theory under four different categories, semantic center approach, context dependent approach, recipient centered approach and semantic independent approach. In semantic centered approach, in context of independent, the main emphasis of the context independent approach is on the relative information content of different messages. Relative measures are neither concerned with the source nor with the recipient. They just treat the message, treat message as they are without regard to the context that include the source and the recipient, they compare different message and read their information content in a relative normalized way. The semantic center centered in more focus, semantic center approach context independent. The main emphasis of the context independent approach on the relative information content and different message. What is the message in the um, information on the message? That is a semantic center. Here context independent approach. In context, independent approach is also known as the pragmatic information approach. Pragmatic, it's a dynamic. Pragmatic information studies take into account the contextual aspect like place and time before evaluating the information content of the message. It's, it's, it's try to find out where is this, where and when. This is the most important aspect in context independent approach. Here, recipient centered approach, user centered approach may be context dependent or context independent. User perspective of, of information is based on his need. So whenever user asking for, user required some kind of information, it's, it is of course a recipient centered approach is called in information theory. Semantic independent approach, the main focus of semantic independent approach is efficient and reliable information communication and storage of information. That's more focus on the storage and the connectivity of information, network of information. This approach is totally unconcerned with the semantic aspect. Hence, it is also called source-centered or sender-centered approach. But importantly, it's focused on the different kind of connectivity and the storage of information is concerned. Now, here is the information as a basic. Here you can see the collection of fa facts, experimental results, measured quantities, data, statistical processing of value, information it's can, then analytical processing and reasoning of the information, it's become knowledge and knowledge, intelligence, experience of judgment, it's become wisdom. So that's the basics of information. Abstractions level of human thought process. It's everybody we thought right that way. Probably in certain age you could not understand, but when you are growing up uh, with the age, you can understand this concept very, mm, very methodically. So, this is a process we need to accept. Now, here is examples of data information knowledge. We have already talked and we talked more and more on data information and knowledge. Here you can see data, the syllabus reference index in, this, in, in industry, market, sale, and financial data, information guided manual abstract seminars, the annual report, business brief, and digest, knowledge, textbook, thesis, dissertations, article technical report, white paper design. These are the different kind of document. Now, we'll look at the another concept called recall precision. Why I will talk on the recall and precision. It's also kind of information, kind of information theory, but how it is different from the information theory. Here you can see precision and recall. Precision and recall are the basic measurement, measure used in the evaluating the search strategy. It is basically used for the search strategies only. It is not for the information measurement. If you look at the 
concept here recall here here you can see recall is the ratio of number of relevant record retrieved to a total number of relevant record in the database so whatever amount of re records relevant record in your databases and how much has retrieved that is recall so recall is equal to a plus b number of relevant record not retrieved a number of relevant record retrieved recall is equal to, recall is equal to a by a plus b into 100% here you can say precision precision is the ratio of number of relevant record retrieved to the total number of relevant and relevant record retrieved is usually expressed as a percentage here you can number of relevant record retrieved now here precision a y a plus c into 100% here this is the basic concept of precision now if you look at the recall and precision when recall is high precision is lower when recall is lower then precision is high this is the theory of recall and precision in this graph you can understand the two line that represent the performance of the different search system while the exact slope of a car may vary between systems the general inverse relationship between the recall and precision remain so when 100% is recall then 100% lower is precision is so it's vice versa it's vice versa now here is the cloud e sanon he called the father of digital information measurement or digital information sanon was born in postaxi michigan in on april 30 1916 he regard um, he graduated from the university of michigan in 1936 with a bachelor degree in mathematics and electrical engineering in 1940 he earned both master degree electrical engineering and phd in mathematics from massachusetts institute of technology he worked founded a subject of information theory cloud sanon died in february 2001 and he has contributed lots on information theory measurement here is the information measure in the probability is when if the probability is high the information content is low and vice versa hence we may propose that measure of information is inversely proportional to the probability of occurrence of masses that is i proportionate to 1 by p now i by p here i is not that i by p now here where i information content information content of of the message and p is probability of occurrence of the message here you can see three statement here in the three statement uh, you, you have seen sun rise in the east so probability probability of that information is yes now dog bites a man probability of that information dog bites a man it's common but not every time so 0.8 i am not giving high but sc scope of information is positive it can be possible information can come a dog bites a, a dog can be bites a man but it's a common so least the chances are least sun rise in the east is one probability is 100% that means there will nothing new information will coming on that dog bites a man it's common but not all the time sometimes so here you can see there is a positive chance of coming information but least here man bites a dog it's uncommon it's uncommon so the probability is 0.01 i kept for that now here you can see the probability the chances of information is high so here you can these are the statement here you can understand when probability is high the information chances of information is low right so here is that occurrence of probability and versus information when information is high then probability is less and when probability is high then information 
the, the occurrence of information, chances of occurrence of information is less. So this is this is the way the whole algorithms of information theory is working on that. Now here you can see the example. In the case of the message, there is a day light here. In the example considered above, we, we would like that value of i information to be zero rather than the unity. To achieve this, we adopt a logarithmic, logarithmic, logarithmic expression that also serves as the constant of proportionality as in equal below. Here you can see i is equal to log 2. Here log 2, 2 mm, can represent for the digital information, 1 by p. When log 2 is used, it is for the digital information. Now that could be log 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now here information is equal to bit and base. When base is e, then it's called NAT. Base is 10, then it's called DECIT. Now it is, this is basically called measuring of information. Now I will tell you. Suppose you are ranking up pages one by one, digital, digital pages. Now uh, I, will, I, I have given you three pages, one pages, the suppose cloud, cloud, the terminology cloud in one pages is five times is there. Second pages is three times and third pages one time. So if you rank them on the basis of the terminology occurrence, so definitely we are going to keep the first page where the terminology cloud has appeared five times then three times and then one times. This is the sequencer. So that can be possible when, when you have a limited number of resources. But when it, if you go for the bigger, bigger concept, then you need to have a kind of conceptual ideas or the kind of calculation which can really lead you to that particular direction. Here we can see information measure, how much information is received when we observe a specific value of discrete random variables x amount of information is degree of surprise certain means no information more information when even is likely depend on probability distribution p bracket x a quantity h bracket x if there are two unrelated event x and y we we want x h here bracket x y is equal to h x plus h bracketed y. Thus we choose x h bracketed x is equal to minus log 2 p bracket x. Negative assurance that information measure is positive. Average in amount of information transmitted in the exp expect expectation WRT p bracketed x referred to as entropy. Here in entropy you could understand h bracketed x is equal to proportionate of sigma xp bracketed x log 2p bracketed x. Here another example so you can understand very clearly the value of log 1 is 0. Therefore p is equal to 1 and the value of information i is equal to 0. And when p is equal to 0, probability is equal to 0, i is equal to proportionate of course. Sudden choose the base of the logarithm as do as when we in, interested in binary digital digital information. Sometimes the definition uses base 10 or natural logarithms with base e. The quantity inf uh, information i is a dimensionless number, but by convention, a unit is assigned to it. When the base is 2, the unit of information is called bit. When the base is e, it is called lat. I have already told you. And when the base is 10, it is called decit. The unit decit is called, also known as Hartley, named after R. V. L. Hartley, who first proposed a measure of information. The use of base 2 is especially convenient when binary signals are used to convey message. Here in this equation, you can understand that log A and b is equal to log a minus log b. Similarly, log 2 
1 by p bracket is equal to log 2 1 is equal to log 2 p is equal to minus log 2 p as log 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, information here is equal to log 2 p bits. Now, here another equation. Bezier of information contained of a sig single message. Now, let us consider a set of messages put out by source that describe the state of an object like, say, like, say weather. As stated earlier, numbers state associated with the objects may be finite or infinite. Accordingly, the state of message put out by the source in is finite or infinite without loss of generality. We consider a finite set of n message, n message. For your further study, let's n message, message one, message two, message three, and infinite, infinite, originate from the source with a probability, probability one, two, three, four, infinite, respectively. From the theory of probability, and the probability of all possible outcome must sum like that. Here you can see the example P1 plus P2 plus P3, P4, P4, Pn is equal to 1. And in what will the number will be? The number in the information content of the k message in k is equal to is given by i k is equal to log 2 bracketed 1 by p k. So k k is a message. If the message are statistically dependent, the amount of information conveyed by two or more messages is the sum of information content of each message. Thus, for two statistically independent messages, n j and n k, we have i j k is equal to i j plus i k is equal to log 2 bracketed 1 by p j plus log 2 1 by p k bracket. The total information content of the source having a repository of n messages given i source is equal to log 2 1 by p p1 plus log 2 1 by p2 plus like that way so here you can see sigma log 2 1 by pk for i greater less than k and k and greater less than n if all the n messages are equally likely then p1 p is equal to p2 p2 is equal to pj is equal to 1 in then information content of messages i j is given below i j is equal to log 2 bracketed 1 by 1 in is equal to log 2 and n where i greater than is equal to j less than is equal to n in this case the information content of all the messages is same so equation developed hardly in the special case of Shannon expression with equation 7 um, p is equal to 1 by n here is the best example she has created. I will tell you, students, here you can see an event has six possible outcomes with a probability P1, P2, P3, P4, and their number is 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16, uh, 1 by 36, 1 by 32, right that way. Entropy is the system. Also, here, find the entropy of the system. Also, find the rate of information if there are 16 outcome per second. Here you can see R is equal to 16 outcome per second. At eight, 8 sigma here, 6 E is equal to 1 PI log 2, 1 by PI is equal to, here you can see 1 by 2 log 2, 1 by 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 log 2 by 1 by 1 fourth plus, right that way, the number over here, one up to 136. At the end of the day, at the end of the calculation, you will see the probability is, is equal to 31 by 16. And again, you have to take 16, 16 over here. So you will see 16, 16 will be cut and you have a tentative message. Information on that particular message will be 31. Now I will tell you to understand this theory, student, the below listed YouTube channel i will I'll, i will send you one link they are given very nicely in hindi how you can calculate a uh, information so you can able to understand i will send you today mr a, a, a k jen 
A.K. Singh probably has created this wonderful videos that there you can understand. Now, information entropy. The average information content in a massage paper does the source entropy and the information entropy. It's represented by the symbol H. So you, you can understand the source entropy of information entropy. And everywhere, this entropy could be represented as a H. As before, we considered a source with a repository of a finite set of in message, M1, M2, M, what will be the number? The probability will be P1, P2, P3, right that way, up to the Pn. From this set of in message, suppose that L message have, have been gathered over a long period of time. If L is much larger than N, then the sequence of L message will contain different message from the set of in message in this same proportion as the probability of occurrence. occurrence. Now that is, M1 occurs P1 into L time, M2 occurs P2 and L time, and so on. The information content of individual messages is given by equation. You have equation in your books applied over here. So you can understand the, the information entropy. Now here is the examples on the information I, information total is equal to P1, L, log 2, bracket 1 by P2 plus P2, L, log 2, bracketed 1 by P2 is equal to, and so on, P2, P3, P4, pi, P5, and Average information content per message is given by H is equal to H. We, are, we have already denoted, here you can see the H, we have already denoted as an information entropy. Here H is equal to I, total, L is equal to P1 log 2, 1 by P2, P3, P4, right that way, and so on. And is equal to sigma PK uh, log 2, bracket 1 by PK per 1 greater less is equal to K, this is equal to M. So this is the information entropy. Here we can also think that we have seen that the case of individual message, a pre individual message. P is equal to 0, I is equal to proportionate, and P is equal to 1, so I is equal to 0. But in the case of information entropy, the contribution of an individual message to the average information content trained to 0. It is probability of the occurrence is very low where, or very high. In other words, the quality of P log 1 by P trained to 0 when P trained to 0 or 1. Does the average information content of both an extremely likely, the extremely unlikely message is zero? There is a very interesting result. Here you can see the extremely like the, like the message has a very low information content, hence it is contribution of entropy is very low. Unlikely message hardly occurs uh, to be able to contribute significantly to the entropy. This figure. The, the below will come to the figure variation of the contribution of the message to many to be noted that c is equal to zero and p is equal to zero and the p is equal to one the maximum contribution occurs so when p is equal to 0 0.5 it is important to recognize the difference between the maximum contribution of a message to the entropy and maximum value of entropy the contribution of a message is maximized when the probability of occurrence is 0 0.5 means half of it could be the message will come or may not come when is 50 percent of concept and here you can see the contribution of the of a message entropy if message is high the entropy is going right that make it curve it's almost like 50 50 percent right of things now, information combination. The main focus of the synthetic, uh, syntactic studies as founded by Sanin is information communication. In information communication, we have concerned with the two main concepts, efficient communication and reliable or error-free communication. This, this is most important aspect in information communication. Information communication is not concerned with the semantic or inf information at all. In fact, Sanin state so explicitly in his seminal paper, the main concern how communicate to giving piece of information efficiently in an error-free error -free manner. Sanin developed theoretical framework qualify the problem of communication with the high efficiency and occurrence. Now here you can see he has created 
efficient communication yes sirs look at the concept as in the sanan approach the source of source centric sanan proposed source coding as a method of achieving efficiency communication here you can see that uh, in this model the communication channel is assumed to be the error free or reliable and ideal channels can transport information with perfect occurrence it is not affected by noise and it does not cause imp impairment uh, to the signal in in any way we now extended the idea of source entropy to what is called source information rate is ir source information rates here you can see the source information rate a is equal to high information bits per second h we have already mentioned early now here is the model source source coder ideal channels source decoder destination so channel coder noise channel channel decoder model of reliable communication this is the this is the different channel channel code noise channel channel decoder everywhere you can find and here is some examples he has created and here yes here you can this is what it's a source so source information rate here you can in source information rate is the average information rate from the source source information rate is not a bit rate in the conventional sense it does not represent binary digital being transmitted to a channel h represented the average information content per message and sh represented the information rate here you can see this definition compiles the channels is ideal we can now relate c the channel channel capacity c and sir as look at the c greater equal to sir or sir less equal to c that is basically called ideal channel okay now reliable communication channel state the provide that the provides is, is satisfy there is exist of channel coding scheme that would ensure at arbitrarily sm small probability of transmission error sanan however did not work out as to what that coding scheme was and it, it was left to the successor to work coding scheme since they consider work has been done in the area of coding today we find a fairly mature branch of study known as coding theory but so what will be the code so there are two kind of code error detecting code and error correcting code error de detecting code is very important when information is come up then you need to detect error error detect code so you need to have a kind of a uh, system or kind of formula you have to create whatever the information is coming that will be evaluated with the existing code and it will tell where is the error is it will find where the error is if they are find error there is a error that it is again go to the error correcting phase now you need to have a one error correcting phase suppose i am telling you how are you in that case how are you in that case uh, if i told you how you are so you need to have a grammatical knowledge with you but i am telling different so you need to correct that mm, you need to understand the error on that particular statement and at the same times you need to have a capacity to uh, correcting the error uh, one detect and then correct the error now semantic theory in the semantic theory as he have produced in the three different direction one is semantic central centered based studies context dependent studies user centered studies here you can say semantic centered study semantic standard studies are context independent they are considered both the sender and and the receiver as a part of the context and hence ignore their role in arriving at the information value they are concerned with the relative information content of passage the content measure is based on substantial information 
that a message carrier instead of surprise element or the unexpectedness of the message as a sun and maser. Here, in context independent studies, the theory here is based on certain fundamental aspects like laws of nature, context of situations, event and perception ability of individual. There are certain postulates that govern this theory. Now, user center study. In recipient center study, the concentration is on how precisely the recipient gave the meaning and the sender intended to convey. 